Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following fraction of time. And the first example, we have 30 minutes is what fraction of an hour? We know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. And likewise, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So therefore, to find a fraction from minute to hour, we have that as 30 minutes. I'm going to abbreviate that, divided by 1 hour. Changing our hour to minutes so that it will be in the same units. We have 30 minutes divided by 60 minutes. And because they're in the same unit, I have the highest common factor that's 30 so 30 in 30 that's 1 30 in 60 that's 2 and because the units are the same that falls off so our final answer will be 1 over 2 in the second example we have 15 minutes is what fraction of an hour like we did earlier we have 15 minutes divided by 1 hour Changing our R to minutes, so the units are the same. We have 15 minutes divided by 60 minutes. 15 in 15, that's 1. 15 in 60, that's 4. So therefore, the fraction will be 1 over 4. Next example, we have 1 second is what fraction of what minute? We have 1 second divided by 1 minute. Changing our minute to seconds, we have 1 second divided by 60 seconds. Because 60 seconds make 1 minute. The units are the same. Therefore, the units fall off. We are left with 1 out of 60. Let's look at more examples. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In question four, we have how many minutes is one over four of an hour? So we have one over four of an hour equals one over four. We have to change the hour to minute of one minute. And that will be 60 minutes to make one hour. So I'm going to change that to 60 minutes. And that is equal to 1 over 4 times 60 over 1. We change our off sum to multiplication. Cross simplifying, I have 60 divided by 4. I have 4 here 1. 4 in 60, 15. So therefore, our answer would be 15 times 1, which is 15. How many minutes? So that will be 15 minutes because we've changed our units to minutes. The next question says, how many seconds is 3 over 4 over a minute? We have 3 over 4 of our minute, which is the same as we're changing to seconds. 3 over 4 of 60 seconds. And that will be 3 over 4 times 60 over 1 all in seconds cross simplifying i have 4 year 1 4 in 60 15 so our final answer will be 3 times 15 for our numerator so we have 3 times 15 remember our answer will be in seconds so we have 45 seconds so 3 over 4 over a minute in seconds will be 45 seconds the last part of the question says 12 hours is what fraction of a day? In one day, we have 24 hours. So therefore, to find a fraction of 12 hours, we have 12 hours divided by one day, changing all to hours. We have 12 hours over 24 hours. And because the units are the same, that falls off. We have 12 and 12, 1, 12 and 24, 
2. So our final answer is 1 out of 2. So 12 hours is half of a day. The next question says, how many days is 2 over 7 of a week? We have 2 over 7 of our week, that's 1 week, is equal to 1 week is made up of 7 days. So that will be 2 over 7 of 7 days. And that's equal to 2 over 7 times 7 over 1. Cross simplifying, 7 in 7, 1. 7 in 7, that's 1. We are left with 2 times 1, that's 2 days. So 2 over 7 over a week is 2 days. The next question, how many months is 1 over 4 of a year? So we have 1 over 4 of 1 year. And we know that 12 months make up a year. So that will be 1 over 4 of 12 months. That's 1 over 4 times 12 over 1. Cross simplifying, 4 in 4, 1, 4 in 3, on 12, that's 3, therefore, 3 times 1, that's 3 months. And the last part of the question, we have 13 weeks is what fraction of a year? So we have 13 weeks over one year making the units the same we have 13 weeks 52 weeks make up one year so that will be 52 weeks and if i divide the units goes off i have 13 in 13 1 13 in 52 that's 4 so therefore 13 weeks is 1 over 4 of a year thanks for watching bye